The LIBOR system is broken and needs a complete overhaul was the conclusion of the regulator, but for now it stays, albeit with changes. Nick Motson is uh, the resident LIBOR expert at the CAS Business School. Uh, good to speak with you, Nick. Um, is this going to solve, is this going to address the problem of, 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 of fiddling in the current system? I think it completely addresses the issues that we saw from the Barclays investigation. They've addressed the issue of individuals manipulating the rate by bringing it within the regulatory system, so the FSA will oversee this, people will be at risk of prosecution, which is perfect. They've also addressed the issue of banks trying to portray financial strength when perhaps they aren't as strong by keeping LIBORs too low because they're going to embargo the releases. So we won't see what banks have put in as their LIBOR for three months. What's the but here? The but is, well, they want to expand the panel. And the question is, who will want to join the panel? So who's going to take over from the BBA? Well, there's the BBA side of it. So the BBA has been replaced. But there's also, they want to expand the panel of banks. Right. And will banks really want to be on this panel with all the regulatory oversight that's going on in it? How do you, I mean, talking of the, the BBA and who will take over, how do you incentivize the new administrator? I mean, it's not a job anyone really wants, is it? It's going to be a tough job. It's going to be under a very strict regime. And they'll also see that there's the, the, the burden that is placed upon the institution that takes over um, is going to be huge. However, I guess there's the prestige of it, so it may be that somebody such as maybe Reuters, perhaps Bloomberg, somebody like that comes forward. Um, but this is going to be a long process. There's going to be a tender process. It's going to be overseen. So it'll be a while before we know who it is. Uh, banks aren't going to lose sleep over this, are they? I don't think so. I, I think that it's been an extremely well thought out review. We couldn't replace LIBOR. We had to try and fix LIBOR. They've made that very clear. I think they've tried to address the problems. Um, which I think was the right thing to do. Will the reforms, do you think, Nick, be enough to keep people using LIBOR as the benchmark of choice? I think, I think LIBOR is so deeply entrenched in the system that replacing it would be a problem. What, I mean, what could be an alternative? Well, everybody keeps talking about transaction-based benchmarks, etc. The problem is that if you want longer term, we found that banks aren't lending long term, yeah. um, but we need a long term benchmark, something like six months or 12 months out. There aren't transactions to back that up. So really, LIBOR is the only choice we've got. So you're impressed with Wheatley? A very impressed. You're impressed with what he's said. Yes. Um, he's going to restore confidence, not just in LIBOR, but uh, in regulation in this country in general? I think it restores credibility. I think you know, we now have a framework in place. We have sanctions in place, etc. So the credibility is there. Confidence, that will take longer. All right, Nick. Thanks uh, so much for talking with us. No Nick problem. Motson uh, from the CAS Business School. That's it from me. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters.